Hello, sweet soul, and welcome back. <laughs> it's good to be back with you. I just discovered the first ladybug of the year. Look. There. Next to my water bottle with special effects that I just got the other day from a lovely friend of mine who thought I should be well hydrated on my drive. And so she gave me one of her son's water bottles that has seen many falls out of the backpack and therefore it doesn't stand straight anymore so it comes with special effects i am in the wonderful city of birmingham right now at a conference first professional conference in well quite a few years <laughs> thanks to circumstances and it's been delightful seeing my colleagues in person getting to catch up and yeah uh what is really wonderful about Birmingham is it's only a couple of hours from Stonehenge. And so on Sunday, spring equinox, happy new year, by the way, on spring equinox, I went to Stonehenge and was able to go on to the sacred grounds. The equinoxes are some very special days where they open it up early morning. So we get to see the sunrise just for a couple of hours for the public and to stand amongst the actual stones. Not only seeing the site from afar or from the outside, being allowed to wander amongst the stones. And it was beautiful. It was so beautiful. And there were priests and wise old men and women and little kids and people from all walks of life lots of drummers, singers, dancers, people who contemplated in quiet meditation. It was truly beautiful. At one point, I leaned my forehead onto one of the large rocks to turn inward for a minute. And I heard the place saying to me, you are stronger than you think. Your true strength lies in your heart. And that's what I've been feeling all this week, that the true strength lies in our hearts and that we get to remind ourselves and each other of that every day. The true strength lies in our hearts. It's in our love. And we get to tap into it every single day again. We get to find the love around us. We get to see it reflected in us and we get to put it out into the world. At Stonehenge, we also said prayers for ending the war and for finding peace amongst all of humanity. So it was not this up in the air ritual of people who only want to feel good vibes. It is a very, very straightforward intention of sending peace and love and positive energy everywhere and having that help us find peace. And my love goes out to all the people who suffer from this war. And all of us can do our little pieces to help there. That, and at the same time, find some joy so that we can recharge and restore our energy so we can continue giving. So I send you lots of love on this beautiful day. I hope you had a beautiful transition on the spring equinox. I wish you new energy, lots of love in your heart and the remembrance that that is where your true strength lies and that you are stronger than you think because you have an infinite source of love within you. I love you. <laughs>